Yo, please don't tell me you're making this texting mistake. This literally destroys men's game, bro. And one thing if you guys didn't know, texting is really how you do get girls. Like some people say, don't text, don't text. But honestly, texting helps you out a lot. It can hurt you, but it does help you. But the first mistake is, bro, you did not smash the like button and subscribe. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe because you're going to get tons of game and get the hot girl you actually want. But the biggest mistake I see that most guys make is simply they don't ask questions. Yes, there's a thin line between asking too many questions and being boring. But one thing I do see is I, I've seen this from guys I coach. And bro, the reason why you want to ask questions when you text is because so she has an easier way of applying. Like, I'm not going to cap. You have to sometimes just make it easy for the girl. When you ask a question, that's literally something for her to apply. Like, if she has to think too crazy and she has to think what to say next or she or she's struggling texting you, bro, you'll see that a lot of girls literally will not answer you back. And I'm not going to cap. The reason I'm making this video because I made this mistake a few times, even a few weeks ago, I made this mistake. And the reason I'm thinking about this, like, hey, even me, I have to go back to the basic. But here's actually, actually a good example. Look, look at this. Um, I said, what part of the DMV are you from? And she just says, I'm Silver Spring, you? And I said, perfect, DC is close to everything. See, that's just a statement, but there's not really much that you can work with. In that case, you could have been like, yo, what's your favorite part about Silver Spring? Or what's your favorite spot in Silver Spring? Or I could have been like, yo, hey, we can go to this spot in, in DC. Have you been here? Or what's your favorite thing to eat? See, what you want to do when you're texting is ask questions and then gear it towards what you actually want to do. I don't want you texting all day, but gear it towards your actual day. So that's one of the biggest mistakes I see. Number two is blowing up her phone. I'm not going to lie. I literally, guys message me all the time, bro. If you have to double text her, you have to triple text her, she's seeing your text message. She literally just ignored you, bro. Like, bro, I'm being honest with you. If you have to sit down and double text, like, yo, majority of the time, she probably not that interested. And it's, it works sometimes, but you are chasing, okay? So that's why, but then line is like, yo, I try not to double text. Every once in a while, I double text and I regret it. But I don't think God should double text at all. If she doesn't answer you, F it. Move on. You can chase, you can do it. But majority of the time you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So bro, she doesn't answer your text, fuck, forget her. Don't text her back. Go move on to another girl. And if you don't have that option, bro, why don't you work on yourself? Why don't you become the best possible version of yourself? Why don't you make it sure you look good? Why don't you change your photos? Why don't you go and out approach more, bro? Why not? Because you're being lazy, bro. See, you have the double text, bro. She's really not that interested in you. Number three is, bro, I see a, what a lot of guys make a mistake is they don't lead the conversation, okay? So a YouTuber actually he put me on blast and said like, yo, I asked too many questions and I'm not leading the conversation. But what you guys don't know is whenever I'm texting a girl, I'm leading the conversation to the date, okay? Even this interaction, right? I asked her, are you a margarita type or are you espresso martini? The reason I'm asking that because I'm going to ask out for drinks. She says, I can do espresso martinis. And then I said, what's your actual go-to drink? And she says, I like fancy cocktails with fresh fruit. I'm a cheap drink date. I said, we should have a drink together. Then we can blaze afterwards. She said, okay, sure. When? Okay. And then I'm asking, are you available right now? So now I'm starting to set up the logistics. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. See, from the moment you start talking to her, you should be initiating and leading a conversation to what you want to do. Maybe my go-to dates is drink dates. So I try to lead into drink dates. Or if it's ice cream, I try to lead into ice cream spots. So the thing is, whatever you do, you want to be leading the conversation to potentially get her on a date. Because that's the ideal thing. Lead the conversation. A lot of guys, you guys just want to make the conversation interesting, interesting. But that mess you up in the long run. And then lastly is... You're focusing on texting too much. I, there's a thin line between what's accurate and what's not. A lot of guys go to extremes so you shouldn't text at all, right? I do think you should text, but you shouldn't text that much. A lot of times you can move the interaction forward if you simply just call it, if you simply just FaceTime or ask it out for the meetup. So that's one thing I recommend. Don't be trying to focus too much on becoming the best texter. Focus on actually how you can lead the conversation to what you want. But yo, make sure to look in the description. I'm doing dating apps um, audits, right? I'm doing reviews on your profile so you guys can get rated and profile review which you guys can improve so you can get more matches on dating apps and also I'm doing text game reviews so if you guys want me to review your text game check the link in the description okay but yo guys I freaking love you make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe and yo if you're actually struggling with texting girls make sure to check out this video right here